the association has been in existence since 1938, and since that time we have represented the steel construction industry in Michigan. Seventy-five years. A lot has happened in the last three quarters of a century. The world has changed. People have changed. The structural steel industry has changed. Iron worker safety, once hardly considered, has made dramatic improvements and is now the first consideration among union contractors. Research, testing, improved technology, and creative imagination has enabled steel structures to become more complex and more beautiful. The world saw a lot of things in 1938. The March of Dimes was established. Joe Lewis knocked out Max Schmeling in the first round. The Blue Water Bridge opened. The first appearance of Superman is published. Howard Hughes flies around the world in just 91 hours. Orson Welles broadcasts the War of the Worlds, creating a national panic. And the first Sturgis bike rally is held in South Dakota. Also in the spring of 1938, the Steel and Metal Erectors Association of Michigan was incorporated. This small association became the precursor to Great Lakes Fabricators and Erectors Association. In March of 1959, the Associated Steel Fabricators of Detroit, Inc. was founded. Eventually, this organization merged into Great Lakes Fabricators and Erectors Association, which became incorporated in 1967. The Great Lakes Fabricators and Erectors Association represents uh, steel erectors and fabricators, machinery installation. We represent the steel industry, operating engineers, uh, conveyor, rod busters. The rigging industry, the fence and conveyor industry. We're the negotiating unit for the uh, iron workers. We promote steel in the steel industry and we have done it for 75 years. Well, one thing that our organization provides its members and that I take an active role in is, is the uh, collective bargaining negotiations with our friends at the, at the unions. We work with the union uh, for safety, uh, working rules, conditions, uh, negotiate out the wage packages. You know, it allows us to come together as a group and lay out all our issues out on the table and discuss them in a rational manner and work through them and come together put an agreement in place that's going to both benefit all of our member companies and also the members of the local unions. They've done a great job over the years uh, negotiating with the union and creating a cohesive group of uh, owners and union members and representatives to, uh, to create a wonderful organization. We bring you know, the top companies in the industry together. Uh, we're both big and small and it allows us to collaborate on a lot of issues. It allows us to get involved with some state-led issues, you know, in Lansing or even in Washington, D.C., on uh, things that concern our industry, like uh, pension reform. Any, any kind of discrepancies in the uh, contract, uh, we, we negotiate those out with the union. We deal with the union fairly and with the contractor fairly. We negotiate all, all, the, all the wages so that we can uh, be competitive as owners, but yet be able to pay a fair wage to the uh, employee. The training that is provided through the collective bargaining agreements is some of the finest skills training that you'll have in any industry. Great Lakes Fabricators negotiates with the unions. They work with the unions to create uh, the apprenticeship training program, which is where we train all the apprentices uh, to teach them safe working practices, to teach them how to do the job so that when they go out on a job site, they're beneficial to the contractor. And we're uh, partners with our friends at the union uh, with the apprenticeship school and that is a very intense training uh, process and uh, both sides are engaged in the curriculum and the process and the progress that our apprentices go through. We're providing uh, skilled trades to the uh, contractor so that when a man gets on the job site he's productive, he knows how to do the job, he does it correctly, he does it safely. I remember when I, when I started about the biggest certification you could get as an iron worker was the welding certification. Now there's dozens of certifications that all come out of the apprenticeship training program. Our, our men uh, go through a four-year apprentice program prior to becoming a skilled journeyman iron worker. 
our program at its top, second to none. I think um, our group and the uh, friends on the labor side do a great group in organizing it, and um, it's, a, it's an outstanding program. The benefit of signatory contractors using union labor is that you have a ready supply of skilled, available workers that produce the highest quality. The union worker, in my opinion, and a lot of our association's opinion, members' opinion, is that they are better trained and perform higher quality work and safer work. As an industry, we feel that union contractors are better than non-union contractors based, based wholly on training. We'll get it done ahead of schedule, on time, on budget, and more safely. So in a grand scheme of things, when you uh, factor in everything that can go right or wrong on a project, I believe the union construction worker and company is, is a better choice than, than the non-union. I think our industry, once the economy booms, will have a lot of renovation work, I'm sure. Uh, and we're seeing that in the city of Detroit right now. So every time they do a renovation, they find out that, guess what, steel's the best thing to renovate with because we want to expand floors, we want to remove columns, we want to uh, open up spaces. Steel's the, the product to use. I think steel's going to expand farther and farther. We're also finding that AES steel, architecturally exposed steel, is more and more beautiful and more and more accepting by the public. The young kids today, uh, I believe, if they were to choose to come into this type of industry, they would find it very challenging, it's very rewarding. There's always room for advancement, and there's a lot of places to advance. You can go in the direction of safety, you can be safety directors, uh, you can go back into school, get your engineering degree, become an architect, you understand what steel does. When you complete a job, years down the road, or if you drive by a certain project, you say, you know, hey, you know, our company built that. Um, it's very rewarding, very satisfying. The members of Great Lakes Fabricators and Erectors Association are some of the finest contractors in their field. With this organization, we're constantly involved in the training and the goodwill of both sides to create uh, the good for all. Great group to be a part of, and I would recommend it to any uh, other company that's thinking about doing it. I found out what a great, great place this is. Uh, a lot of great guys, and they're all trying to do the same thing, trying to promote an industry, and that industry is steel.